Well, hello. My name is Albert Einstein. You may have heard of me with that theory of relativity and all. Well, today I'm going to talk to you about something really, really big. Space. I mean, space is really big, yes, yes. And our little planet is just such a small little speck in the vast sea of the cosmos. But I digress. What I really want to talk about is how us humans have managed to get out there in the space above Earth, out of space. Back 50 years ago, we even set foot on our nearest celestial body, the moon, lifting off from an amazing launch site in the, on the east coast of Florida. Precisely what I want to talk about is just that, one of the most historic spots on the planet for getting us off this little blue planet we call home. Kennedy Space Center's Pad 39A. A fellow German, Herr Werner von Braun, had built the most powerful rocket ever made, the Saturn V moon rocket. The first launch happened in 1967, and boy did it create a spectacle. From this spot you see behind me, the Saturn V blasted off with 7.5 million pounds of thrust, creating more power than 85 Hoover dams. From here, Back almost exactly 50 years ago, on July 16, 1969, we launched three astronauts on their way to the moon on a mission called Apollo 11. Those three astronauts, Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins, journeyed to the moon atop this powerful rocket from this very launch pad. Between 1967 and 1973, there were a total of 12 Saturn V launches from Pad 39A. But that doesn't end the story, no, no, of this historic launch pad. In 1981, the first space shuttle lifted off from here. There were 94 more shuttle launches from 39A, including the final launch of a space shuttle in 2011, when Atlantis completed the 135th mission. After that final shuttle mission, the United States found itself unable to launch any astronauts from American soil. They have had to rely on shared launches aboard Russian Soyuz spacecraft. But that is soon to change. In 2018, a company called SpaceX launched the most powerful rocket ever launched by a government since the Saturn V, the three-rocket Falcon Heavy. This powerful rocket took off on a test mission with a pretty nifty payload, a cherry red Tesla Roadster. That little sports car is still out there orbiting the sun all the way past Mars. Would you believe that? I hope that Starman sitting in the driver's seat brought, brought a lot of music to listen to along the way. He's going to be out there for a very, very long time. This year, SpaceX launched the first mission of a new astronaut-rated spaceship from 39A, the Crew Dragon, on top of their Falcon 9 rocket. Would you look at that crazy modern launch tower over my shoulder? While the launch pad may be old, not as old as me though, it continues to be the site of cutting-edge missions to the great unknown. If you get a chance, and the timing's right, come to Florida Space Coast during a rocket launch. Maybe the first humans to travel back to the moon, out to Mars, or to even further destinations will take off from here. Okay, that's it for now. Have a great day.